We're going to thread a one and a half inch piece of PVC pipe. In this particular one is one quarter inch barbed. The threads are one quarter inch MIP. MIP stands for male arm pipe. In the United States, male arm pipe is the exact same thing as NPT or national pipe thread. This is a quarter inch in size. This barb fitting is made to accept a quarter inch inside diameter tubing. In this case, this is a piece of Tigon tubing. And I'm not going to put it on all the way, but it's got a nice snug fit. And in this application, it's going to be for a dehumidifier, has a pump in it. And we're going to run up a piece of Tigon tubing or any flexible quarter inch inside diameter line. It's going to run straight up and tap into, it's located in a basement, and tap into a PVC drain line. The biggest issue is after you find out what size of line you need, what size of line you're going to run, what kind of barb fitting you're going to run. The next issue is what size of hole are we going to drill in our PVC pipe to give us a good tight fit. This is scheduled 40 inch and a half PVC. This will give you some kind of an idea of how many threads are going to be engaged in the PVC pipe. Three threads is all we're going to engage. The PVC pipe is tough stuff. Three will be plenty. Again, it's not pressurized. It's just a drain. The only pressure is whatever that pump's putting out. This application is going to be the same whether it's for a dehumidifier with a built-in pump so you don't have to carry out the water and carry it upstairs and dump it. That's quite a hassle. It's the same thing for an air conditioner condensate pump in the air handler. It'll pump it up and over into the drain. The size drill bit we're going to use, if we measure the very beginning of these, they're showing 1 64th to 2 64th or 1 32nd over a half inch in diameter. On the location, if you can, go to the 12 o'clock location. In a basement, a lot of these pipes are located up high. You have to come off to the side somewhat. I don't like to come down here in the 3 o'clock position, mainly because you might get by with it if there's not much draining upstream. In this particular case, we have a washing machine draining upstream, so I want to get this as located as high as I can, but after looking at the project, I can't go 12 o'clock. But I think I can go to about 11 or something like that. We're going to drill a half inch hole. Again, we can't go 12 o'clock, so I'm going to aim for 11. The first threads are actually going into it, but keep in mind that on national pipe thread, the further you go up, the tighter it will get. So I think that's acceptable. Feels like it's engaging good. And I'm going to try it without Teflon tape. If I see a drop or two of water around it, which I don't think there's any way. But as I said, the only issue is that upstream, I have a washing machine. And it can put out quite a bit of water in a short period of time on the drain cycle. So, so it's exactly a half inch drill bit. I get by with the 31 64ths. I tried a 1332nd and it's too much struggle to get it uh, to get the threads engaged. So I went ahead and went with the half inch because we're not talking about any significant pressures. It has a really good tight fitting. And on my quarter inch inside diameter, in this case Tigon tubing, but they make a 
a wide variety of tubing. I'm just going to push it on. If I get any leak, if there's any water under the barbs, I'll get a micro clamp and put on it. And I thank you for watching.